India has created history. After the disappointment of Chandrayaan 2, ISRO's Chandrayaan 3 has done it. Its Vikram lander has safely done soft landing on the lunar south pole. With this, India has become the first country to land a craft on moon's south pole. But the job is not over yet. The real work for ISRO starts after lander Vikram's touchdown. Now the scientists will be busy with rover operations for one lunar day, that is 14 Earth days. ISRO scientists will analyze tons of data that will be coming from five scientific instruments on board the lander and the rover. What will happen after the touchdown? Post landing, one side panel of the Vikram lander will unfold, creating a ramp for the Pragyan rover. The six-wheeler Pragyan rover with the national emblem and the ISRO logo embossed on its wheels will get down from the Vikram lander's body on the lunar surface after four hours, moving at the speed of one centimeter per second. The rover will use navigational cameras to scan the lunar surrounding. As it rolls, the rover will leave imprints of the Indian emblem and ISRO logo on the lunar soil, making a mark of India on the moon. The rover has instruments configured with payloads to provide data on the moon's surface. The rover will transfer the data to Vikram lander, communicating it with ISRO on Earth. Now, what will the lander and the rover study? The objectives of Chandrayaan-3 are to have a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, to demonstrate the rover rowing on the moon, and to conduct on-location experiments. Apart from these objectives, the payload attached to the lander and the rover will study the lunar surface, the processes of the lunar body and its formation. The rover will gather the elemental composition of the moon's atmosphere and send all the data to the lander. With three payloads, the Vikram lander will measure the near-surface plasma density, measure the lunar surface thermal properties, measure seismicity around the landing site and delineate the lunar crust and mantle structure. The solar-powered lander and rover will have about two weeks to study the lunar surroundings. ISRO says the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter can also be used as a contingency communications relay.